Hey y'all, I'm Bradley Doyle with Bradley's Guide Service, inventor of Catfish Bubblegum. Also a tournament angler with Gone Fishing Pro. I'm out here having my cup of coffee this morning on this beautiful lake. We're catching a few fish and actually had one just break me off, so I'm gonna use this as a chance to uh, show y'all how I rig up. Still warm. These big freak cups are pretty nice. All right, let's get to work. All right, so I just got my line here. I don't know how well you can see it, but all I'm gonna do, tie me a simple loop in here, loop it over, back through, like so, pull the knot tight. Just a simple loop, like so. Take my number six treble, just this regular old treble hook. I'm gonna just loop that through there, like so. And uh, it's secure. Now, what happens a lot of times, these old treble hooks get messed up and that old catfish mouth pretty tough. And you can get it out of there and get it all twisted up or breaks off or whichever. This little old loop allows you to just change it out without cutting everything and starting over. Now, I like to use these little old pinch on weights. A lot of times my catfish rig and my crappie rig is the same, just change the hook. Of course, they don't make these like they used to. I like to use my pliers now to Crimp it down on there a little bit. It's all right if it slides up down the line. I'll show you why here in just a second. There's one. Here's another one. Get that on there. You can see, it'll slide up down when it hits that knot. That holds it off your hook. And that right there. Leave that sitting right there right quick. I'm gonna break into catfish bubble gum bucket. Well, I've got some original. What's in the bucket is original, but here's some original. A little bit of licorice. I'm gonna take me a pinch. You can see, I just made this stuff. It hadn't risen yet. It's on the, it's on the rise. I'm just gonna take me a little pinch of there. You see the fuzz on there? That helps hold it on the hook. Take that and I'm gonna roll it up. I got a little ball of it. Take that. I'm gonna put it over, over the top of the barbs. Kind of pinch it around the line, pinch it all together, and then pull the barbs into it. Now basically, I want them, them barbs sitting on the bottom, because as that stuff softens up in the water, it starts to slide down over it. And if you've got it barely hooked at the top, it'll fall off. Come over it, pull down on it. All right. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna drop it down. We're fishing about 20 foot deep on a hump that's known for holding catfish. And we've caught a few already. I mean, it's not like I don't know that fish are down there. But, uh, get to the bottom. All right, now I'm on bottom. Reel my slack up, put my rod tip down, and I'm gonna pick up. Pick up just a little bit off the bottom. I'm gonna hold right there. And there's a fish. Pretty good fish. All right, let me move around this way a little bit. There he comes. Looks like he's hooked decent. Bring him in the boat here. Try to get a 
hold of him without getting an extra hole in me. Oh, there you are. Decent channel cat. Catfish bubble gum in his mouth. And there's the rig. Kind of twisted up right now because there it is. And that's how you catch a catfish, at least here on Lake Conroe, with catfish bubble gum. Good fishing, y'all. We'll see you out here.